Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is finding unit rates, uh, and this is lesson 4-6 in our textbook that we're following. There's our common core strand, and our question here is how can we use unit rates to make comparisons? All right, so um, so here, uh, the cashew nuts, uh, it's actually not a nut, um, uh, they're actually a seed from the cashew apple, and so here's the cashew apple right here, and so these cashew nuts that you see in the stores right here, they're these little seeds underneath right here, and this apple uh, part right here is a top toxic part right here and it grows in tropical climates like Brazil or somewhere where there's a lot of rain and the, and the temperature is warm. Anyways, so in the store Lynn paid $9.60 for 16 ounces of cashews. Find the price for one ounce of cashew. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, first underline the sentence that tells us what we want to find. Well, that's always this last part right here. Find the unit price for one ounce right here of cashews. And then circle the numbers that we need to use in this problem. Well, we need this one and this one here, so we'll go ahead and circle those right there. Let's go and uh, get started here. So uh, a unit rate, you guys, makes a comparison to one unit. And here we're going to um, uh, compare this to one ounce right here. So we can find the unit rate by dividing the numerator and denominator by what's in the denominator. So, so let's write the unit rate for the prices of cashews. So we'll write the ratio that compares price to ounces right there. Okay, so here's our ratios, price to ounces. So the price over the ounce right here. So we'll put the $9.60 over 16 right there. Okay, all right. Now remember, we want this to be one because we want it to be one unit. I don't know why they say OZ is a uh, uh, ounce, but but um, uh, anyways, that's what ounce is, is OZ. So we'll divide the numerator and denominator by the number that's in the denominator right here, the 16 right there. So let's go ahead and divide top and bottom by 16. Let me slide that up right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, remember when we divide, we divide um, the 16 into the 9.00. Let's slide that decimal straight up right there. And then we just start going. How many times does 16 go in? Um, yeah, go into 9. It goes in there zero times. So now we got to figure out how many times uh, 16 goes into 96. And if you don't know that, then just start thinking multiples of 16, you guys. Okay, 16 times 1 is 16. And if you don't know what 16 times 2 is, probably you do. But if you don't, you just add 16. Okay, and then 16 times 3 would be one more 16 okay so we get 48 we can just keep adding 16s there's 64 64 plus 16 is 80 okay I need one more 16 so 16 times 6 is 96 right there okay so we put that there and we and we subtract okay and then we'll slide that next to zero down and then we'll ask ourselves how many times does 16 go into zero it goes in there zero times so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, write this as um, uh, as dollar signs is going to be 60 cents or 0 0.60 dollars right there. Okay. All right. And then so the unit rate is um, uh, 60 cents per one ounce right there. Okay. So there's so that says 60 cents right there or, or six tenths of a dollar right there. So the price is uh, 60 cents per ounce right there. All right, so explain why the unit rate is equivalent to the original rate. Well, we divided the numerator and denominator by the same number, which was 16. So when we divide the top and bottom by the same number, we get equivalent fractions right there. So fractions are ratios, so equivalent ratios. So explain how we can check to find uh, that our unit rate is correct. Well, we can take that unit rate and multiply, go backwards, multiply the numerator and denominator uh, by 16. And, and when we do that, we should get uh, $9.00. 60 cents for 16 ounces right there and which was given in the problem that's what we started with okay all right so which rate is faster uh, Bob who goes uh, 210 miles in seven hours or Pat that goes 165 miles in three hours okay so what we're gonna do is uh, write the ratio so Bob's rate is 210 and Pat's rate is 165 for three hours let's go ahead and put those in there <clears throat> excuse me and then uh, now we'll find each unit rate so to find the unit rate we want this denominator to be one so this is going to be uh, seven here and seven here because if we divide the bottom by seven we got to divide the top by seven and this one's going to be three and three right here okay all right so uh, 21 divided by seven is three so 210 divided by seven is 30 
All right, and then 3 goes into 16 five times with one left over. So we have the 15, and 3 goes into 15 five times. So that one's going to be 55 right there. All right, and then let's um, uh, compare the unit rate. So which rate is faster? So the 55 miles per hour is going to be faster than the... Than the um, 30 miles per hour. So who went 55 miles per hour? Pat did. Pat did uh, 55 miles per hour. So Pat's rate was faster. All right. So try this, you guys. At, at one store, a dozen eggs uh, cost $1.20. And at another store, uh, uh, one and a half dozen eggs cost $2.16, which is the better buy. So what we're going to do is find the unit rate of each one for each egg, how much the eggs cost. So so store one is a dollar twenty for a dozen, and store two is a uh, two sixteen for a dozen and a half right there. All right, so here we have um, uh, twelve eggs right there for a dozen, and then a dozen and a half is is 18 eggs because we got 12 plus an extra half a dozen which is six okay so we're going to divide this one by 12 over 12 and we'll divide this one by 18 over 18 that way we'll get uh, the unit rates right here okay so a uh, dollar 20 divided by 12 is 10 cents and then 216 divided by 18 is 12 cents right there so um, which is the better buy well the cheaper one is that the store one is a better buy right there so the unit price is lower at store one so a dozen eggs for uh, the dollar twenty is going to be a better buy than uh, two sixteen for the uh, dozen and a half. And they try to confuse you with that right there. You know, a dozen and a half people don't really think about that. So, but if you're trying to get the better buy, and say you're a company that's buying, um, you know, several thousand eggs, um, pretty soon the two cents starts adding up after a while. So. Anyway, so if you guys are finding these lessons helpful, let me know. If they're not helpful, let me know and take care, you guys, and be nice to your teacher. <laughs>